My name is Maury Henry. I've been a union worker for 34 and a half years at Delphi. <clears throat> and before that, I worked at American Seeding and some other places. I implore the sympathy that we need to fix the rights and freedoms of all people in this country. Congress has made some statements about protecting the stimulus for American corporations. The only people in this country have been beaten up and battered with no respect and a little disregard for their knowledge. The knowledge that goes with these people, you hear about the scales and the, in the skilled trades areas. There's a lot of people that think they know how to do things, but really can't. That's why the apprenticeship programs are still four years, not two-month technicians. There are skill levels in everything. But for the UAW and the people that they represent and any other airlines people that are our union participants, they have rules, regulations, and guidelines. And everybody seems to try to infringe upon them. And in, in my recent developments, I see that General Motors is always trying to take a little more. Sure. Another little bite. Another little bite. And, uh, and, I, and I implore everybody to accept the fact that I may not be correct 100%, but I watched the postal workers in this neighborhood deliver mail, and I see the fights going on. I see the fights going on over $10 an hour jobs that aren't even livable because of Congress fails to uh, uh, adhere to their own rules, regulations, and guidelines. Free trade agreements, fair trade agreements, whatever you want to call it. They're supposed to protect us and our, and our borders in Canada. And what we want out of that is to go home at night and say we did a good job and we got paid, we got compensated for what we've done. Barely. The Viva. Congress had a big stumbling a stumbling attitude about the VIVA. They kept bringing it up in the stimulus thing. And, 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 the, and, the, and the Congress was saying about the VIVA, that so much of this VIVA money had to go from General Motors and, 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 and never got nailed down for the $22 billion or whatever it was supposed to be. I don't know the number, but it was in there, and that guy from Tennessee, the, the senator from Tennessee, yeah, was Lord. really, really up to speed on what was going on with the VIVA. And that would kept bringing back to GM. But I watched that for quite a while. And you know what? I never saw the resolve of the VIVA. I never saw or heard anybody saying, well, General Motors, yes, they got to put that in. But they're, they're, are they going to put that in? Did they put it in? No. Now, if, if you were looking at the General Motors in, in Delphi or General Motors in the UAW, there's this bill that's supposed to be there. And this money is going to go to the UAW to represent certain things. But it's not there. The money's not there. Is it there, Patty? The money isn't put into there yet. To interject a few things here. You are talking to a bunch of automobile workers. I'm a retiree. I have a pension. But I worry about that every day. Now, these gentlemen are telling you that their jobs are right on the edge. When you work 57 seconds out of 60... You're working. There's no, there's no fat to cut into this kind of stuff. Now, the two-tiered wage structure that was negotiated by a bunch of politicians was originally slated for $17 to $21 right. with a three- or four-year program to get people orientated to work because we have a people orientation behind us that have no work ethics. Some of these people come to work and don't know what to do or how to do it or why they're doing it. Now, we got that straightened out for the automobile workers. But now we have to worry about what are the politicians going to do with the stimulus. They all said on camera, they all say we have to protect American interests. Exactly. Whereas, they let all these foreign companies come in. They're taking the stimulus money. I don't know about Ford and I don't know about Chrysler. Cerberus has, has been a funny company ever since. The Treasury bailed them out in Germany for $10 billion. So Cerberus is strange and Chrysler may go away.
But General Motors has to start looking at the long-term health of their products and their people. The cars that we make today are excellent. General Motors makes cars that'll go 200, 300,000 miles. Yeah. Their trucks are fabulous. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if somebody told me I was going to get 225,000 miles out of an $8,000 Cavalier, I'd say, I wouldn't want to be riding in it the last 1,000 miles. <laughs> okay? These are cars. That's transportation. Now, General Motors is responsible for transportation. What they do and how they do it requires people. And these people here are telling you that they need congressional protection to make sure that nobody steps in and brings in another foreign plan in. Nobody steps in with somebody with a free trade agreement. And I am really hurt because when Mr. Wagner and Mr. Gettelfinger made a statement, nobody said anything in Congress. They have an agreement to bring in 200,000 cars from Korea. And Mr. We Mr. Wagner and Mr. Gettelfinger smiled at each other and said, well, yeah, but we only brought in 600,000 of them. And nobody thought anything of it. Now, these are the political leaders in this country. That goes from the Democrats to the New Republicans to everybody. Now, Senator Obama will not be able to sort this out. He is not capable of sorting out the automobile industry because of the technology changes that happen so quickly. And they happen fast. As soon as one company gets something, then another company comes in there and comes in with a better idea. We need that to develop products. But we need people in Congress to stop the fair trade and fair trade agreements. They gotta give them fair. They gotta get square. These guys, they got kids. I'm, I'm old, I can't work anymore. Shoulder shot, neck shot, back shot. And all I worry about is what my kids are going to have. And if it keeps going like this, there will be nothing for me and my kids. Well, Maury, Maury, you worked at, at General Motors and at Delphi. Tell us a little bit about what you, you developed and, and some of the, the things that came out of those plants and, and now where are those jobs going? The, the, the fuel economy now is done with direct injection. Uh, we made a lot of improvements over over years and years and years. Cafe standards, we would always be able to beat them. But now what I'm concerned with is the application of hydrogen is being left behind. We've been working on hydrogen, solid oxide fuel cells, lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries were Delphi deliveries. Uh, now I don't know why they sell it to their subsidiaries. You, you look at a battery today coming down the line, nickel cadmium. Uh, you you are personally have seen for the Cadillac uh, of the fleet and the batteries in California. But what happened? General Motors threw all those batteries away. So they can throw away technology, but they can't throw away these guys' lives. And it's time that the American people stand up for the agreements that they have made. Amen. And that's all corporations, especially General Motors, they open and close contracts on a daily basis to suit their own needs. Um, 